So welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus 39 now, verses 33 to 43. I'm not going to read all 10 verses, but you would profit from it. I mean, over and over again, we have all the details. Ding, 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 down the line. But what I think I'll read the last couple of verses here. So the sons of Israel did all the work according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses. And Moses examined all the work, and behold, they had done it just as the Lord had commanded. This they had done. So Moses blessed them. So here we have yet again an, the list of all these things they made. They did. They assembled them. They put them together. They made. They, they gave the uh, contributions toward it. It was crafted into the stuff. And it all comes together just exactly as the Lord commanded it. So anybody at this point, now we've gone through 39, we're at the very end of the book of Exodus here. And anybody who's gone this far and just in reading the book of Exodus, we should be clear in our mind. Uh, this was an important thing. The details were important. God is laying out the details. They are all very important. The, the sanctuary, the wilderness tabernacle, it is not a uh, just a little boop, one verse, and then we're done and we move on. Uh, in the Bible, this takes up a lot of space. This is here for a reason. Remember, remember, this is how sin is eliminated from God's people. Back to the New Testament, John 1, 21, the mission of Jesus was to save his people from their sins. This sanctuary, this wilderness tabernacle is a large part of how God does that. This is the sin disposal process. This is the changing people process. And so here we have Jesus' high priestly ministry. It wasn't enough for him to die on the cross. That was essential. That was absolutely uh, pivotal. Without that, you've got nothing. But not only does he die on the cross, but there's a process of ministration, a process of sin removal, and the replacement. It doesn't. God does not leave a vacuum. Instead, the graces of the Holy Spirit come, and God transforms the heart. So Christianity is not just, uh, you know, oh, we're going to take out this bad cartridge and throw it away. No. No, Christianity is out with the old and in with the new, out with the old wineskins, in with the new wineskins. And so this is a uh, replacement of the bias toward evil that we develop and strengthen, a replacement with, uh, with God's working in us. So now, after all this list of the golden altar and the anointing oil and the fragrant incense and the doorway of the tent and all these pieces that, that are all assembled just exactly the way that God has set it up, we read the verses that... Uh, I read there this morning. So the sons of Israel did all the work according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses, and Moses examined all the work, and behold, they had done it. So notice that the people follow through. It's a group effort. Everybody's in on this thing, and it all gets done. It all gets done according to God's specifications. And then, now there's an examination. It says here, and Moses examined it. And then the analysis that Moses has, the final statement is, it was done just according to the way the Lord wanted it. It's right. It's good. And so Moses actually blesses it. So God is at work. His people achieve what he desires them to achieve. He works in them. They work for him. They work in him. And the wilderness tabernacle or sanctuary comes into being. And of course, this is going to become the, the template again for the, the temple in Jerusalem and and again, it's all a picture of sin removal and the implantation of God's grace all over again. So friends, this is a big deal. That's not a little deal. Anybody that wants to ignore this or just look at the, the measurements of the boxes or whatever, you know, uh, there's more to it than that. This, this, is, this is about Jesus, the presence of Jesus in the heart of the believer. This is about sin going out and Jesus coming in. So this is an essential piece. It's, it's, it's important. It's examined here. It passes, and then the blessing comes. So, friends, we've looked at this wilderness tabernacle. One last chapter to go, and we'll work on that starting tomorrow morning. God bless you, and thank you for coming in today to uh, think with me about the Word of God here in the book of Exodus. Mm -hmm.